the review a couple hours ago. We went and seen uh, uh, Get so, Hard. And you remember me from remember him. old Ram. Yeah, remember, remember Ramble Boy here? Yeah, he... Well, looks like he got a better movie that, or, this earlier because yeah. he actually saw something that relieved himself from fucking Unfriended. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, I, I did too because, I mean, I guess I was... I get, Well, he was pit, more pissed off than I was, but... I still didn't like the movie either, so I know I didn't. I know he went on a ramble quite a while, yeah, but you I agree. You're I gotta agree. I'm it. not far from it. Yeah, but that was a bad, it was. fucking horrible film. But anyway, we got to see Get That's Hard, which was which came out like a couple weeks ago. Get and, Hard and uh, Will Ferrell, Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart. and it was like actually a pretty funny movie. It was actually yeah, really. It was, a good I, actually, you know what? Not only was it funny, it was really cute. Yeah, to see them two together, that they had chemistry. That's a fucking movie, Kim, uh, you, you fucking cocksuckers that said Unfriended was the best movie. Nah, that uh, get hard. You have chemistry you built it. Yeah, built it. That's a movie. Yeah, because the because I'm plus I'm a big Will Ferrell, Will Ferrell fan, so it was cool seeing him doing a raunchy comedy game. Because I like Will Ferrell when he does like the dirty shit, like you know, yeah, when he crashed. Yeah, or Wedding sorry, crashed. no, I'm sorry, old, old school. school, old school, old school, and, and Step Brothers. Yeah, Step Brothers was one of my favorites. Yeah, ever done. Yeah. But in this one, it's basically him. Like he plays this this rich man, and he, he's like he, he thinks his life is so is so caught up and. And he, he works for, like, uh, his a firm. A firm. Basically, we're not trying to screw screw you over and try to spoil her. Yeah. Basically, he goes, obviously, the preview show, it. he gets conned into something that gets him into Bezalite. Fraud. Fraud, where he has to go to prison. Yeah. So he's got Kevin Hart trying to teach him. Trying to teach him how to man up before man he goes in. Before he goes in, he's teaching he him sends out all the to not get experiences raped and all that shit. he knows. Yeah, trying, he's basically trying to teach him not to get raped and all that shit. It's it fucking was hilarious. It's hilarious. It actually, it's hilarious it, it, what they do. Yeah, they do pretty good. I like how they have no. All right, guys. I'm not fag or anything, but I like the whole no strings attached. So they do bring a dick scene where the dude's right. Yeah, Will Ferrell's got such a dick. dick yeah, <laughs> dude. I, all right. I, get, I love that no strings attached, um, no bets are all, all bets are off comedies. Yeah. Because that means you can make anything you want, no matter how bad, horrible, or dirty it is. That is fucking makes a good comedy. I eyes. agree, because, you know, it's, it's, we, we see this nowadays. We see a lot of raunchy comedies where they yeah. show penises and yeah. all that shit. They do it in this one, but they do it, you know, it's not really meant to gross anybody out. It's just meant to be just a funny joke, you know? Yeah, it's a funny joke. It's a harmless joke. And personally, I think the movie overall had great chemistry. It did. I thought that Will yeah. Ferrell and Kevin Hart, I thought they went well together. Especially when he's basically making fun of him because uh, Will Ferrell assumes that Kevin Hart's been to prison. So it's like, well, you know this. Don't you know? There's statistics where one out of three pizzas where, or it was some it was some joke where he was like, one out of three, I don't, it's like a joke with one out of three pizzas. Well, you're one of the th one out of three that falls off, and so basically, basically out yeah. of one of three pizzas, he's basically saying that out of one in three pizzas, black people go to prison. Yeah, one in three, ever one in three statistically. Yeah, it's got a lot of racial jokes, but you could tell um, Hart and Will Ferrell had he had fun. Bastion Charles races. Yeah, because they, they did. They, they loved it. it. They, they loved both it. loved it. Yeah. You got Will Ferrell, like, referring to blacks who always go to jail and prison. Then you have Kevin Hart, you know, referring to white supremacist races and all that shit. You know. They you, also you bring up think, other races as well. You would think that I would actually be a dick about that, but it was actually work for this film. It, That's like. And it, it, you could feel the love between him and Kevin Hart. I like that. That was really good chemistry. Yeah, like I gave ratings to that last film. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have to give this a four out of. Uh, I'm gonna have to get it maybe four out of five. Yeah. I'm gonna have to give it a B plus. B plus. I'll give it. I'm gonna give it a B plus. wasn't like 100 percent great, but it wasn't that bad. It was really fucking yeah. likable. So likable, likable film. I'm probably gonna buy it. I don't usually go it. see a lot of. And comedies. I don't. I do not. See, I don't get into the the whole black genre, whatever you want to call them, Tyler Perry type films, gangster movies. Well, I do, but not the whole black on white shit. Yeah. You know, like, you get with Tyler Perry shit. But, this film, I would, I would get, I would get approaches. 
I would too. You know, it's I don't usually go watch a lot of comedies in, in the theaters because I usually wait for them on DVD. But this one, I was kind of like, you know what? I haven't seen a Will Ferrell movie in the theater since Other Guys, so I was like, fuck yeah, I'm going to the theater. Uh, Other Guys is my last uh, film I seen him in where he, you know, he's my you know co-star. Yeah. Actually, Legos was yours. Well, yeah, Legos is mine. I'm talking about live action as far live as action. live action. Live action for me it was Other Guys. I went and seen on Opie Night and Drive Through. Yeah. So. I mean, I did see Lego Movie, but I'm just saying as far as live action films. Yeah. But also, it's one of my. It's the first. By the way, if you're from Poto and you're bitching about me, how did you see a live action? You know, on opening night, where I was at in Ohio, they released. Um, oh, uh, they released. Um, unlike here in Poto, they really don't release um, new movies as opening night and drive-throughs. They do it in Ohio. And that's the reason why I see oh, a lot cool. of opening nights. Because in Ohio, they actually release drive through movies at opening nights. Oh, that's cool. You know, two relief theaters because where I lived at was a really popular area. So you got you got to worry about Huber Heights Theater. You got to worry about Cincinnati Theater, Dayton Theater. So you had to do it on drive through And that's where I went and seen uh, other guys in the opening night. Yeah, see, I... In, uh, in Poto, here in Arkansas, you really... They're not considered opening night. They're actually considered a week or two or three old. Summertime, because, like... No, it's not that. It's the... Uh, like, even if they come out summer, they don't even get the... What they call new release until, like, three weeks into the new release. Yeah, because... Like, Turtles, I, I went and seen at the drive through and that was three weeks into the, and that was considered opening night for the drive through but it was already three weeks old in real yeah. opening night. But didn't you also see that one in 3D? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that yeah, was, was a, one of the few times Poto ever did a 3D. They don't really do a 3D. They really are strict about it, but they did it for the kids that night. Yeah. I did see it in 3D on drive through Usually you got to go see it in Malco for 3D. Or yeah, or Car Carmike. Mike. Yeah. But the same thing goes with, like, a lot of... Because now they're actually doing drive-in movies now where you can actually see it in 3D. So this summer, we're actually going to get more 3D movies. True. And, I, like I said, I've seen Turtles in 3D. Yeah. This was pretty neat. I will give Turtles, you know, not trying to get off topic, Turtles was a good 3D film, but it had a lot of fucking... It did. Yeah. I, can, I never saw it, but I know a lot yeah. of, I know yeah, a lot of people... Yeah, it's got a lot, like, yeah. lot of fucking problems. But we're not talking about okay, that. But we gotta anyway, talk. about Get Hard. We are about Get Hard. About That's Get Hard, it yeah. Is. It's... Yeah. But also like the, <clears throat> I also like the fact that when they bring up this one part, they're basically tell. Well, there's a part where Will Ferrell is kind of wondering why uh, Kevin Hart didn't bring up the story why he went to jail. I, I even and like. So I like they bring up tra they bring up Boys in the Hood. Yeah, I and do. I, was, I love that. I love the whole um, dubstep feel to it. Yeah. Even though I'm you know real, not big in shit when movies do that shit, but it actually worked with Get Hard. Yeah. It mixed with it really well when he was getting in that, you know, when he was all dubstep and it was all strobe lights. Yeah. <laughs> I actually kind of got into that. That was pretty cool. I mean, if you want just like a typical, like, really fun comedy where you get some get together with the boys or get together with your friends and have a few drinks, just have a good time, Too, this is yeah. one of those kind of movies. Because if you like really raunchy shit like this or really like... I mean, I guess it probably would offend some people because it has a lot of racist I will jokes. tell you that right now. As far as Will, Will Ferrell's character, he's more raunchier than this than he was in other guys. Yeah. Or because he actually takes over the raunchiness in this film. Well, he also say more than Step Brothers because Step Brothers was kind of on that level as well. It was actually the same with Step Brothers, but I would say an overall newest film, just recently not as far as came out, yeah. that people are more known about for is other guys. Yeah, and this is his like fucking. He takes over because the other guys, he's really not watching that film. No, it's, it, it's, it's a lot more, more toned down. It's toned down, but it's also Mark Wahlberg taking over. Yeah, this film is him really making the raunchy shit. Yeah, and, and yeah. plus I love it works. It works. What I, what I love too about the film as well is like there's a part. The whole movie is set up where. <laughs> Kevin Hart makes his whole house look like it's a jail, so yeah. he makes it look like a prison. So when he's on the phone, there, there's parts where he's talking well, on the phone. Well, Stan corrected. He makes yeah. Will Ferrell's house look like a jail. Yeah, it's like he's like, hold on, I'm almost out of minutes. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make sure I can call you back. Yeah, you know, it was a good film. It was a good yeah. film. You know, now, even though of, you have a lot, you will go in there knowing who the villain is and stuff. It's very easy. 
but they did it for fun. For the, yeah, for the I fans. Mean, and I, I, mean, I gotta respect that. Even though I did call the fucking villain in like two that's minutes. That's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious who the fuck it is. I ain't gonna tell you. You can make the decision yourself. It's very. I'm gonna warn you. It is very obvious. And yeah. whoever you pick, and I'm sure you're gonna pick the right dude. All you fans, it is that dude. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, it is very obvious. But it's for fun. I'm yeah. seeing it as a for fun film. It's I want to have something to get me out of that fucking nightmare I seen earlier. Yeah, because I'm in the same way. Because because I damn near needed to go to the fucking hospital <clears throat> for seeing I'm friended, dude. I'm friended, dude. I thought I was gonna have to go get, go see a brain neurologist over that. Yeah, because I, I thought I was going crazy, dude. That was the worst fucking film I ever fucking seen. But anyways, we're back to yeah. We're but I agree like with God. you on that, man. Because to me, it felt like it was cool. Not only because it seems to me like Kevin Hart is getting more attention he deserves. You know, it seems because I'm really starting to like a lot of his films that he does. Yeah. You know, I've seen. Uh, what's what I'm trying to think. And I seen parts of them. I seen parts of Ride Along, and I I know that movie wasn't too good, but I I, I'm Pete like, right. was was the best. As the part. guy who went and seen Ride Along, I do I can make the fucking good comparison. I think Get Hard was better than like Ride Along. Yeah. Even though you had that whole black 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 comedy where you try to break the whole Friday look to it, it doesn't. To me, it's not the same. I really got to praise more to Get Hard. Yeah, I agree with that because. Cause, but also, I mean, I haven't seen. Because also, Ride Along also has a controversial uh, review because there's a lot of fans that are mixed r- with it, saying it was horrible. Some like it, yeah. But I actually really got a really hell of a damn review when Get Hard before I went and seen it. Yeah, because I it, hear it was a hell of a fucking movie, and you know what, fans, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> fans know best. Fans told me Unfriend it was the worst movie. Critics are never always right, you know. I mean. I, I look. I listen to critics a lot, like as much as some people do, but yeah. I don't always follow them because I have seen movies that critics hate, but I like, and then there's movies that they like and I hate. Yeah, just like Therefore, the movie Justin, we seen earlier. Yeah. For now on, you should always wear that red shoulder, and knowing be that open minded. If there's a movie that you want to see that you think they're gonna bash and they are bashing, go see it. Yeah, because critics are really wrong when it comes to deep. Well, I mean, like, you just gotta yeah. be your own open-minded, you know. Because when I go into a film, I want to be just be, be myself. Be like, okay, well, everybody, people say it's good, people say it's bad. I just want to actually take the time and and be like, what do I think of it? And I liked Get Hard, you know. I thought it was funny, and mm-hmm. not only that, but it, it was a good, it was a good duo between those two guys, you know. It's something you don't really get too often that actually works well. Yep, true. You know, and hell, I mean, well, but I mean, I'm sure people compare a lot of like duo films to like say, I don't want to bring this up, but you know, the 21 Jump Street films because of that shit. Yeah, because 20, 22 was the, was the worst film of 2014. 14. It was my worst film of 2014. Yeah. I know all you hipsters got into the 22s because you're all like, Oh, Channing, will you come to me one day? He's not going to come inside you. He's married. Deal He's with getting it. older, too. We all got hots, but we got to let that overcome films. 22 yeah. Jump Street, hands down, was an awful fucking sequel. But yeah, the going as far as comedies we've seen so far I because we saw also we, we, we saw a uh, hot tub time machine 2 yeah and we well, also saw for, for the year we've for the seen. year we've seen Kingsman it was a hell of a damn good movie yeah. I recommend it but as people. far as comedies like and those, hot oh, tub the, really surprised me because I actually expect a lot fucking worse I was actually expected to give a fucking unfriended type yeah rant and it wasn't like that yeah it actually it was doable it was actually de- you know, doable but let alone it's telling you that they don't need to go any farther yeah they're going to make it bad if they keep doing it they do but and then but kingsman was a hell of a beautiful film great mixture with comedy and action it was like a bonds with comedy yeah it was a hell of a fucking good movie kingsman's up there with my like top three yeah, favorite film so far. Well, n- your number one, I know that one. That's yeah. Sniper. <laughs> American Sniper still holds number one in my heart. But, but yeah, other, other than that, 
I mean, that's really all we got. I mean, there's so much we can talk about, but Where there's I not really it, there's yeah. not really much you can do, say. Uh, there's much much we could do as far yeah. as comedies because we did this last year where we talked about neighbors. Yeah. Where there's not really much you can really we we can't really talk about it. We can tell you what we liked about it. We liked it and stuff. But you know, unlike you get a lot of reviewers, but a lot of people, like, you know, critics, but they really give too much in my. Yeah, on film. So well, go ahead, watch the film. Yeah. If you like Unfriend It, God, I hope you don't because that was the worst film. And hey, I more power got, to you. I already yeah, got 100,000 people already fucking telling me it, and they agree with me. But if you do, more power to you. We live in America. Freedom to what the fuck you like. Yeah. That's what I love about America. You have the right to like and hate anything you like. And the other guy can fucking not like what you like. Yeah. But anyways, you like it, cool. If you don't like it, more power too because really it was a bad film. But other than that, I really we'll see uh, we'll see uh, get hard get hard and, and good re- mo- and good we'll, film. We'll be back probably on the, I don't know what else is coming out, but we'll we'll see whatever else is coming out. You're gonna theaters. see an e- you're gonna probably see an epic epic review because I'm gonna do it right at the film Mad Max. Yes, we will be at Mad Max. My in- opening most night. anticipated my film. most anticipated film as well. Yeah. So if if there's anything else, we'll we'll see that. But or if there's anything else before then, we'll check it out. But that's our most that's our definitely our next one. So until then, I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend, and we we'll see you guys in our next review. Later. Later.